Details tonight on a man who died in police custody after struggling with officers in Alameda. Tonight, the coroner has ruled it a homicide, but KPI X5's Kit Doe reports that that autopsy report found more than one reason for Mario Gonzalez's death. According to the autopsy report, Mario Gonzalez had meth and ethanol in his system, and he also had an enlarged and dilated heart and a fatty liver. It turns out the stress from the encounter with the officers proved to be too much. You're about to see body camera video from that arrest. Some of these images may be disturbing. When officers caught up with Mario Gonzalez at a park back in April, he was incoherent. After talking with him for nine minutes, the officers decided to arrest him. Hey, hey. Hey, no, it's not that. Sorry. Do me a favor, Mario. He resisted, so they took him down to the ground, where you can see at one point an officer placing a knee on his body. You can hear them confirm there is no weight on his chest. No, 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 no weight, no weight, no weight. Mario. After struggling for five minutes, Gonzalez went limp. Paramedics took him to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead. The coroner investigator's report found the cause to be toxic effects of methamphetamine under significant conditions, physiologic stress of altercation and restraint morbid obesity and alcoholism. The manner of death was homicide. The report describes the arrest in more detail. He was face down on the ground, prone with his hands handcuffed behind his back. And at times, the officers were applying pressure to his torso and legs with at least some of the weight of their bodies. The stress of the altercation and restraint combined with prone positioning, morbid obesity, and recent use of methamphetamine placed further strain on his heart. The officers involved have been placed on administrative leave and their peace officer rights have been suspended until further notice. Alameda Police Chief Nishant Joshi called the death a tragedy and said this new information adds to the family's pain and released a statement saying, while we wait for the district attorney's office to make their decision and with the knowledge of the coroner's report, the city will work diligently towards completing its ongoing independent investigation and take appropriate action. I'm committed to full transparency and accountability. Kitto, KPIX5.